Hello and welcome back to AirTech Hunting. We've got the return of Fat Bastard on the show and we're going to put it up against the M3 800mm. There are differences in these guns but they've got similar power levels. So sit back and enjoy. Both these guns are set up for long range, uh, both are excellent long range shooters. So the 800mm M3 is shooting 34 grains at 1100 feet per second, so very flat trajectory, loads of power, I think it's 91 foot pounds. And then Fat Bastard with a 700mm, now that gun is heavily souped up and customized. I've had that gun now for probably three years, it's still an old Impact X. But that gun is shooting 40 grain javelins at a thousand feet per second so also a lot of power also very flat trajectory and so far the accuracy between these two are pretty on par they're doing pretty well the only difference is with the m3 and the 800 millimeter you can run the gun uh, with less pressure on the rack because you've got that extra 10 centimeters in the barrel to give you that extra power that you need so you don't have to run the gun that hard Fat Bastard on the other hand is uh, running pretty hard uh, to get the power out of that 700 millimeter. The conditions were absolutely perfect for some long range shooting with little to no wind and the visibility was very good as well. So we naturally put our attention straight on the pylons. Down he goes, 171 meters. Fat Bastard lets it rip with the first one and this pigeon doesn't even know what hit him. A solid impact with a motionless fall to the ground. Fat Bastard is no ordinary impact and he contains a lot of experimental custom parts. The purpose of running him so hot is to test the durability of these parts and I'm glad to say that so far he's holding up nicely. The honey goes, 190 meters. Fat Bastard delivers this one like a guided missile and takes him down with ease. It was time to hand the gun to Tillman and see what he can do. <laughs> oh, solid hit at 190 meters. Fat Bastard delivers and puts a big smile on Tillman's face. The slug we are shooting is a variation of the 40 grain Patriot Javelin and part of our ongoing testing at Patriot Slugs. <laughs> and down he goes, 190 meters yet again. That my friends is a headshot at over 200 yards and he starts to tumble down to the ground. So I'm just going to let you enjoy this. It is fly season so we apologize for all the flies sitting in our faces and everywhere on us. It is so irritating but that's the way it is and we just have to deal with it. We decided that Fat Bastard had enough fun and it was time to bring out the 800mm M3. And down he goes, 113 meters. I slightly misjudged the wind on this one and it hits a little to the right, but luckily it still goes down. Dealman spotted another one and I handed the gun over to him. He also misjudged the wind and makes the same mistake. The next pigeon felt a little brave and came in a little closer. Got that one at 73 meters. 
this pigeon quickly learns the difference between bravery and stupidity. So one thing you'll notice on these guns is that bosses they've got double tanks on there and there's a reason for it. To get all that power out of the 700mm you'd need a lot of air. So this gun isn't very efficient so that's why I'm running double bottles on there. And then with the M3 800mm I can run a single tank because the 800mm gives you so much more efficiency. You don't have to run the gun that hard. So this gun is naturally much lighter. That double bottle system is very heavy. So this is just a much better setup. But because we're doing long range shooting, it's not a big issue for fat bosses because we are sitting on uh, tables and chairs so you don't have to move around with it. But with this gun, you can actually walk around. It's not that heavy. Got that one at 79 meters. For some reason, the pigeons decided to move in closer and we spare them no mercy. Nice headshot at 50 meters. <laughs> In the back and dead. Got that one at 78 meters. <laughs> Dead in his tracks. Awesome. And with that it's the last shot of the day and today's episode is a bit of a short one but I'm already working on the next episode which is going to be a nice lengthy one so stay tuned. Well that is it I hope you enjoyed this show the 800mm versus the old 700mm on Fat Bastard. I think you saw all the differences between the guns and you can make your choice now of what setup you want. So we hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button remember to subscribe and then we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs>